Welcome to episode number one from chapter six. And in this chapter, we're going to learn about how humans impact the biosphere. And we're going to start off with what is called the tragedy of the commons. And what happens with human beings that when, when any kind of resource, and a resource could be a forest, could be water, could be the air, etc., anything that's free and it appears to be unlimited and it's accessible by everyone will be totally abused by human beings. Uh, think of the oceans. Uh, we pollute it. We have grossly overfished it. Think of forest. Uh, it is not uncommon in human history to cut every single forest down. Uh, if you've ever seen Dr. Uh, Seuss's uh, story, The Lorax, there's a ton of truth in that. Human beings have notoriously just chopped everything down and then moved on. We've hunted some species into extinction. You know, think of the American bison when we were building railroads back in the, the late 1800s. Well, we pretty much wiped those off. I mean, there used to be millions of bison across the Great Plains. You know, we almost made them extinct because we hunted them to extinction. All right? So human beings have a tendency to abuse resources. And resources come in two flavors. Number one is renewable resources. These can regenerate if we let them alone. All right? Now, Renewable resources would include stuff as forest, um, soil, water, uh, etc. We can replenish those. Uh, you know, you cut down a tree, you, you plant a new one. Um, in, in the water, you don't, you don't throw a lot of pollution into it. Uh, recycle water. In fact, uh, don't waste it by uh, letting it run down the storm drain. Maybe you can collect uh, the rain off of your roof through a rain barrel, that kind of stuff. Now, one thing about renewable resources, they are not unlimited, okay? You can destroy them to the point they can't come back. But if you're really good with your stewardship and you use some common sense and you use uh, um, you know, good strategies, you can make these guys, you know, all these renewable resources, be able to be reused again and again and again. Now, non-renewable resources, you cannot be renewed all right, through natural processes. Now, oil, even though it's, it's made naturally, it takes so long to make it that it's considered non-renewable. You kind of have a pretty good quick turnaround, all right? So, like, for example, if we take oil out of the ground, it's not going to be replaced for millions of years. It's not like a tree is going to grow back in 20 years. You can come back and cut it back down, all right? So, non-renewable, you can't ever be replaced, or it takes so long for it to be replaced that... You know, it's not going to be there for your lifetime. All right. Now, that leads us to sustainable development. Sustainable development is the strategies that allow you to use renewable and non-renewable sources in, in the most efficient manner without, or let me rephrase that, the most efficient manner without destroying the ecosystem. All right. Now, you've got to take into account two things when it comes to sustainable development. you got to take into account the ecosystem. You know, what's good for the ecosystem, but you also have to take into account the economic needs of humans. And sometimes these two ideas can clash. So you've got to be able to do it in a way that takes both sides into account. Now, here we've got a Venn diagram, right? So here we've got the environmental. Uh, whatever we're going to do to the resources, it has to be bearable. In other words, you can't destroy the, uh, this resource. And you got to do it in a way that's economically viable. In other words, you've got to do it in a way so that people and their companies can make a profit. Now, socially, in other words, what's good for human beings as a whole is our actions, once again, have to be bearable upon the environment, but it also has to be equitable with economic. In other words, you shouldn't have a single country or a single company having a monopoly and using all the resource. In other words, you've got to kind of find a way to share so that it's equitable to everybody. So in other words, a company can make a profit and it's good for the people as a whole. Now, when all three of these concerns come together, you have sustainable development. Now, is that easy to do? Absolutely not. Do we as human beings make mistakes? Yes. But 
uh, we should continue to strive to be more sustainable in the way that we use our resources because with humans going through exponential growth, we've got it. These resources have become more and more limited, and eventually the human beings would reach their carrying capacity. And when we reach our carrying capacity, the sustainable development is going to be really, really important. All right? Nice and short episode to get us started. So until the next time, we're going to catch you on the flip side.